everybody, welcome back to my channel, This Rickety Games. I'm Sydney, and today we are back, finally, with the AWE DLC of Control. So, we are about halfway through, I would say, this DLC. We are about to go into the Fra Maro AWE area. We just completed the Eagle Limited area with the train. I just want to say very briefly that to get to this moment has been a bit of a journey. If you missed it, the long and short of it is that my game got super fucked up. The save files got corrupted. It was a whole thing. Um, I tried every solution under the sun. It looks like I was not the only person to have this issue from a couple of years ago with this game. However, some people solved it, some people didn't. I was in the bucket of people that didn't. Thank you everybody who tried to give me some solutions in the comments. Some of them were actually really creative and ones that I actually didn't find online. Sadly, none of them worked though. I replayed the entire game on the Epic Games launcher. Seam is kaput. It's got my achievements and stuff, but that game, every time I, I get the same error message, it just dies. So I'm not wasting any more time on it. I completed the entire game exactly the way that we did it. Uh, exactly the way that you guys saw me do it to a T pretty much just in like double the speed I ran so fast you guys to get through to make it back here I don't think I've ever played a game so fast I picked up every piece of paper I found all of the walls I was like go 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 anyways we have done it so just to show you uh, hop for joy uh, just to show you guys, I have our weapon mods, all of the stuff that we had before, um, and then all of our stuff is here. Obviously slightly different since things are randomly generated. Uh, I think we got our first six, uh, level six mod, so that's exciting. I don't remember getting a six in the previous playthrough, but you know what? I'm happy for it. Uh, obviously our clearances and stuff are good. Here's our missions, we did them all, just like before, just to show you that we are caught up to exactly where we are, um, and the same rooms, all of the same things that need to happen will happen, uh, and then same thing with our collectibles. I've got all of the things that we had before, I think I found a couple of tiny pieces of new papers, um, but none of them were of super note that I remember, um, but yeah, so... We are all caught up, we're ready to go, sorry for the delay, and uh, let's get to Fra Maro, shall we? It's been long enough, but just before we get to that AW section, you guys mentioned that there's a secret room back here with a puzzle. Die! Enough of you. Uh in the the room with the radio that was playing take control you guys mentioned that there is actually a breakable wall back there with a clock puzzle and that this puzzle might be very difficult but uh it's worth doing so let's go check it out shall we i don't know how uh complicated or not this puzzle may be you guys said it was probably one that we had to look up uh, but I will try my best to solve it as it is with my own brain and uh, then where is it it's not here here it is so whoa this was not open before but you guys said it was a wall breakable wall I guess the game opened it for me uh, but yeah, so it was by the radio here. It plays Take Control. Shush. Uh, so yeah, we were enjoying that for a second, and I got this guy. This wall was closed, but now it's open. So you guys said this was a very complicated puzzle, so I don't know, and that I probably will have to look it up. I will do my best to try and solve it. Uh, myself, I generally like to give an attempt at least for myself first, and then uh, after that, uh, if all else fails, we will look it up. But you said it was worth at least looking at it, so hidden location, funsies. So what's going on? Okay, so we have to stop the clock. Is it a combination puzzle? Do 
There's nothing in the room, no no hints of anything. Oh good lord. One? Do we make it? <laughs> Nothing changed. Do I should I stop on every number? It's gotta be so it's gotta be like a combination lock then. But you guys said it was like complicated, so I it can't be that simple, right? Okay, so one for sure works. I should write I should write something. Got a trusty pen and a post-it that are hopefully not altered. So I got a one. Is it like um Is it like those um you know you have to like press the number in the sequence and it's like but you have to keep pressing like the same one. So like if I have to like keep hitting one, it's not one, two, but like, okay, so like maybe if I start over and do like one, two, one, one, three, one. Four, one, right? Okay, it's, it's doing nothing so far. I've got one... I tried one through four now. One, seven! Seven's a number. This is not possible. Okay, seven only rings after you ring one. So you have to do it like one and then seven will ring if I hit it on seven. If that's like seven, maybe one, seven. I got two rings out of it. You guys also said I might have to look it up. So I might have to look it up. I hate giving in to the stuff like this, but since you guys said it, I feel like it's going to be something really complicated. Or like I'm going to have to go leave and go find something. So just in case, let's check it out. Okay, wow. Yeah, I never would have figured this out ever. So the radio at the beginning of this like hidden space here is actually relevant to this room and the clock puzzle. Because apparently... Hiya, so I kind of explained this a little bit miserably. Um, but what I'm trying to say is, in the song Take Control, there are three sections of lyrics that are reversed. Now, if you unreverse those lyrics, then it gives you various verses that are relevant to this clock puzzle, as well as some other kind of lore, it looks like future lore, for actually Alan Wake 2. It says, in their drunken, fevered state, seeing double profoundly, the pyramid in the stolen file becomes a spruce tree. In their drunken, fevered state, seeing double profoundly, the pyramid in the stolen file becomes a spruce tree. I don't know, but I don't know if that's relevant to this, but that's part of the thing. But then it says, the diamond will tell you where 119, 7118. Four nine nineteen. That's so that's the clock thing, but it's in the song. The diamond will tell you where one nineteen seven one eighteen four nine nineteen. Landing on the pillar star and rushing on to the red room. Find the cord to take you to a secret rendezvous. There's no way in hell. Who figured this out? I'm glad that you guys said that this was going to be a complicated because I've been here trying to think like what it could be but I there's nothing in the room there's no context I thought originally it maybe was like 665 because that's Dr. Darling's thing like neighbor of the beast and then it also showed up in Alan Wake 2 in doc, uh, Dr. Dor Mr. Dora's studio um, but the one ruins that and then, like, I happenstanced upon the... Yes! Seven. Get over there! Yes! It's obviously going between... It's on... It's a, it's a 24-hour clock. So it's one nineteen seven. So it would be 1, 7 p.m. So 1 a.m., 7 p.m., 7 a.m., 1 a.m., 
18 is 6 p.m. 4, 9, 7. So holy moly. So, okay. 1, 7. I don't know. I didn't catch any reverse lyrics or numbers in there, so... I got nothing. So 9... Bam! And then 7 is the last number. Bam! Ooh! The floor opens. Fancy! Holy hell! I don't know who figured that out, but they are a genius! Like, how would you associate... I mean, I guess the radio outside, but like, I usually... I don't know. I, I wouldn't have, I even with the radio and if you told me it was right, I still wouldn't have figured it out. You'd have to listen to the whole song again. I skimmed through it on my iPod. I didn't hear anything, but whoa, we got friends. I love friends. I'm extra good this time, guys. I've got, excuse me, get out of here. I've got double the experience. Oh, I thought you got obliterated. <laughs> I was just trying to tell everybody how skilled I am now, and I almost got murdered. Oh, it's good. It's good. I did get murdered. I'm also a bit tired. <laughs> Alright, I'm back, motherfucker. Corpse, I'm not afraid to use them. Is there anything in here though? Ooh, it sounds like an angry motel. Woo! I was just trying to tell everybody that I, I got skills and I immediately died. <laughs> ah, so glad to be back where we were. So it's just like a fucked up version of our world. A hissy version. Ugh. Okay, let's do it then. We checked out all the things. Oh no. Dos. Tres. Here we are. Motel and casino. Do we ever get to the casino? I would love to. I don't think we do. You guys were talking in the... Uh, in the comments that we don't, but maybe in Control 2 we get to visit the casino. Control? I just get a key straight up? Oh, a robot. Not a key. What? Is this a fancy one? <gasps> it's shi shiny. Health recovery on evade? Hell yeah. That's kind of what this one is, but it's way better. So let's replace it. Because I love my health boosts. 
they help so much. Wow. The Valhalla Nursing Home, founded in 2014 for Odin and Tor Anderson for their twilight years. What? Wait, and we gotta watch. We gotta watch it. I've learned my lesson after all this time. We watch immediately. The Valhalla Nursing Home. Founded in 2014 for Odin and Tor Anderson of the old gods of Asgard fame for their twilight years. Built after the return comeback tour. Flip-flop to be their farewell tour. Cut short. Cancelled. To the chagrin of their agent, Barry Wheeler. Barry. Wheeler had managed to coax a couple of hit songs out of them before that. Balance Lays the Demon, a couple of others, three massive stadium-sized gigs. The old men rocked like they were possessed by the devil. Like their namesakes, the backstage parties got out of hand. The air was thick with smoke. Wheeler squinted, his migraine flared. Booze and drugs, a rock and roll cliche. They ran off after every gig. Wheeler had security track them down to the craziest after parties. The Andersons were so old. Vampires, princes of fucking darkness. After every gig and the rampaging party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. And they never did completely. Each time, Wheeler expected them to croak. It was that bad. After the third gig, Wheeler couldn't take it anymore. Couldn't stomach the idea of another client dropping dead on him. Wheeler canceled. Called it off. It was over. After the Old Gods comeback tour was canceled, Wheeler set up a foundation with the money from the record sales of the Greatest Hits album and the gigs. A lot of money. Wheeler was good at his job. Wheeler set up the nursing home facility. The old men deserved it. Okay, wow! More Alan Wake 2 stuff. So like they, I mean, we already got the Mr. Door moment from her brother Dylan in that side convo, but this a bunch of thoughts here. I'm pretty sure we've heard this page almost exactly, if not exactly. I don't remember the vampire bit, but I definitely remember like the crazy after parties and the booze and that they were like possessed like the devil. Like I definitely remember at least that those sentences almost verbatim in the Valhalla nursing home in Alan Wake 2. Like, I'm pretty sure this is a page in Alan Wake 2 that maybe they recycled because this one was so hard to find. Or maybe they just used, reused sentences from it. But I swear, I swear I remember, like, hearing those sentences. Ah, this is okay. And then also, I appreciate the little detail that you can see Alan's hair, like, longer. It, like, it, it's it's flaring up around his ears you know so like it's continuing because like his hair is like long in Alan Wake 2 so this is like in between so I appreciate I appreciate the continuity there Remedy but whoa mention of the Valhalla nursing home and Barry Wheeler before the cult got him and this is something we were talking about before as well the the blessed cult is the one that he turned to to get like away from like the stress of his job and he fell right into the hands of a cult with Chester Bless. Uh, so that's gonna be fun. So do we just leave? We do just leave. I can't believe we got a kick-ass asset, a page about the gods as they are. And, uh, wow, they, like, literally predicted, I mean, I know that they were making it, but, like, literally Alan Wake 2, like, ah, that's crazy. Uh, it's this way. All right, now we get to the Fra Maro AWE. Hartman, I'm coming for you. Oh, also, uh, something I noticed, so his, his little orange peel baby baby love like little sentence um is actually said by trench in the fake out um ending that they give you 
in the office when like she's fighting her mind and um, she's like office assistant. Um, if you stand there listening to the hiss rant and then it's also in the credits that get like fucked up, like the orange peel is in there, like the baby love orange, like the weird sentence that uh, Hartman keeps repeating. Um, it is there. So where am I going this way? Um, so that's something. I don't know if that's significant or not, but it's not just Hartman who says that. So maybe it doesn't come from him and it's actually a hiss phrase. Um, so there's that. We have to get back to active investigations. We. And then it's just kind of straight on, isn't it? Through the elevator? Yeah. I also fixed, I'm much better at flying now, I gotta say, because I had this bad habit of trying to double click the button instead of just holding nice it. To have someone oh to my god, Langston! You know? <laughs> Ever since I got put in charge of the panel, I forgot. People treat me different, like I'm crazy for wanting to work this with altered items. This is his original rant. People just don't understand the altered items. Do, I, you know? We understand, buddy. I don't want to I'm getting you that signed copy. I, I promise. We'll eBay it for Doesn't you for Hartman. Want to brag. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, we're back here. So, this is so. Okay, so we got From Morrow area and then Bright Falls. I kind of forgot about Bright Falls. Um, so, we'll do From Morrow in this and then we'll see how far we get, though. We'll likely leave Bright Falls for its own episode because that'll be the finale. Get out of here. I'm busy. Um, and then, yeah, we'll have our exploration episode, of course, to grab all the things that we didn't get to. I do have little lists, of course, as I mentioned last time, so I'm very excited. It does look like we're completing Ati's quest as we go, um, so there is that. Oh, also, one thing about Langston, sorry, I'm trying to outpour all of my thoughts. I feel like I'm rushing in my thoughts to, like, get through with this episode and be like, tell you all the things that I feel like we've been missing out on for the last two days. Oh, I'm just trying to share. Anyways, um, Langston evidently goes on another rant, so we listened to his first rant. I'm just totally here. Me, right? Yeah, of course you are. Still, I don't know why people are making it so personal. He goes on I mean, the continues. teams and research handle paranatural materials every day, and no one thinks they're weird. Well, maybe that's not true. Darling is famous yeah. for being a bit This is still the first rant. But, um, evidently he has a second one. Observation deck. Whoop, not that. Haven't fixed that habit. Oh, hello. How's it going? Take a corpse. Whoa! Oh, ah. There we go, that's better. <laughs> Wish we could just curb stomp him like in dead space. Just stomp when he's on the ground like that. Ah, okay, I also changed just now. Where is there something else? No. Uh, I just changed, I added the damage boost to that, because that's much nicer. Any astrally projected bathrooms? Nope. Yeah. Oh, yes, the darkness. Almost forgotten my life here. Yep. Get out of here. So flashy. For nothing. Alright, here's my flashlight. I'm ready. Alrighty. AW loading and the yeah, okay. This will be fun. 
Are those people? I love friends. the person <laughs> oh we're doing good I'm at the end of my rope wow it's so dark ah oh, we need a battery and a light not that please light please blind me all right all right good there's some things uh, I thought I saw a battery somewhere, no? Uh, did we see a battery here? No. Is it in here? Oh, it is. Back here. Also turn on the lights per chance. <laughs> lights? Nope. Just the elevator, okay. That's fine. What is this? Oh, the arcade cabinets. Shoom! I'll do those, that'll be exciting. Uh okay, shoom arcade cabinets, AI 40-PE. The containment procedure, uh, a distance of 10 feet between the items suppresses their effect. Effect only triggers on physical contact. Description and altered effect. Items are a pair of arcade game cabinets originally designed for the games Shoom AI-40A and Shoom 2, Cougar's Revenge AI-40B. The games were manufactured by Bonco Entertainment, now out of business. Despite being a popular arcade game in Japan during the late 80s slash early 90s, no other shoom cabinets have been found by our investigators. When touching one of the items while it stands within 10 feet of its counterpart, the user's mind is transported to a version of their subjective reality that resembles a video game in logic and function. Events from their everyday lives become game-like sequences in which speed and efficacy are paramount. The brain enters a stroke-like state as proven by EEG studies on users, which only ends after the user finishes their game, at which point they resume normal brain and motor function. Ooh! So we go into like a stroke to play it? Oh, that's, should we play it? Is that a good thing? Should we not? Um, but that's interesting. So it gamifies your life. Uh, get out of here with those threes! Um, so it gamifies your life and like helps well it doesn't help anything but you can go into a fucked up version of your day to day but with extra speed and efficiency alright I don't see any other papers so let's go on keep on keeping on oh the elevator's out oh that's a thing? Can we step Damn in it? Oh my goodness. Where's my light? Did it just leave? What happened to my light? Oh! oh I thought that was Hartman for a second. Where'd my light go? What the fuck? It disappeared. I think it got stuck. And then it just fucking no clipped out to the back rooms, but okay. <laughs> That's fucked up. I didn't mean that, but that's fine. <laughs> Ooh, hello Polaris. Control point? I will claim it, thank you. Woo! 
feel like it's been a control marathon for me. <laughs> it's been fun though. Uh, what is this now? So this controls that. So, yes. Why? Okay, so... Oh, there's a battery thing on it. Give it back! Oh, I, oh. Oh, oh, I got it, I got it, it's a light. Oh, fuck, but I need the battery. That's so rude. You know, with my light, I could have just done this instantly. So, like this? Let's hope. I gotcha. Yes. <laughs> I was hoping that was the right stopping point. Okay, but there's also a thing at the end, which is an extra thing. Before we go through our game. So let's do this. And it's like, where? It's like the very end-ish. by the pillar. Not that. <laughs> I'm all over the place tonight, guys. We got it. Was that thing? Too early. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Materials. How do we get this one though? It's like an under thing. I don't see any cracks. I'm trained now. There is an upstairs. <laughs> are too tiny to get into. I also don't see any, didn't see any piece of paper, so we'll move on for now. Oh. Is this where you ended up? Oh, I gotta tell you, the darkness noises. It's just so creepy. Like, they did a go I was gonna say they did a great job setting up the horror in this. Like, it's got that very classic, like, horror movie feel to it because you never quite get to see Hartman fully. So there's something really, um, like, it's almost scarier because we don't get to just face him head on. We have to kind of always avoid him. So it makes the scares bigger. 
I got, I pi I'm picking up what you're putting down. Where'd my light go? Why do all my lights evaporate? What? Unbelievable. Do you guys see this? Oh, no, 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 no. It's dark in here to fight this thing. Are you kidding? So the lights flicker. What is this? <laughs> His footsteps are freaking me out too. Ooh, there's a thing. Awesome to get. Yeah. Where did it go? Oh, and it's garbage. So rude. Uh, okay. <laughs> Woo! But it's not gonna last. He walks too. This is fucked. So, whoa. Okay, but where am I putting it? I see the battery, but where am I putting it? <laughs> he only grabbed me once so far in the whole of our existence. Ooh, that's not. We do have a lot of random. It's also still a thorn. All right, we got it. <laughs> Shut it. Ooh, I see it. I see it. Please make it. Motherfucker. He's gone. Yeah, baby. That wasn't as daunting. <laughs> After a minute. We, like run. I basically just ran like a bat out of hell from light source to light source. The light source is going out on me. Thank you for that heart attack. Okay, are there any pieces of paper? I didn't see any as we were running around, but just to check. Oh, back here. What was it? What is it? Alrighty. And then there's this. Actor for hire. Dearest Hollywood, have you ever wished you had an actor who could do it all? Who could be a man or woman, adult or child, a dolphin or a Boston Terrier? Well, today is your lucky day. My name is Gareth Clemens, and I am the world's greatest actor. Not only do I have years of stage experience, but I am an accomplished shapeshifter. Whether you need a misbehaving cat, a ferocious wolfman, a swashbuckling pirate, or a debonair southern belle, I'm your man. Or am I? I will be arriving in town on May 11th, 1971, and will be available for meetings and auditions beginning on the 13th. See you in the movies, G. Clemens. <laughs> that, I don't know why I read it like that, but that's what I imagine that voice to be. Uh, but okay, he's a shapeshifter. I mean, that would make, you know, you would, you would need a lot of departments. I mean, you wouldn't need any makeup department, uh, you know, no, no, uh, you know, depending on the type of shape shifting, you might not even need costumes department if you could manifest clothes with that out with the with the, with the moves. Um, I mean, you know, I uh, that that would be certainly something. All right. So I didn't see anything else. What is this, Polaris? I think it's reflection. I think some of the reflections. Oh no, it is Polaris up there. Ooh, tell me, lady. Control point? Control point. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, oh. Well, that looks ominous. And uh, there's nothing back here. Lovely. 
Let's keep on. Oh, and we got so many lovely friends. I, how many times am I going to drop dead this time? Hopefully not. We got the element of surprise. Bye, bitch! Oh, he's still alive. <laughs> Big gun. Where are you? Where are you? I got a big explosion with your name on it. You dead? He's toast. <laughs> Ooh, and there's a darkness door. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay, so we gotta move the bridge in order to get to the door. So... Ah, well the bridge operator thing would be helpful. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time and then we're done playing with you. Understand. Jelly, where are you from? Jumbo Green. Up and loose and heavy treat sandwich. What? Jesus Christ, does anyone have any idea what this thing is saying? Hotly. Dirt arrange you. Why are you here? What the hell do you want? Why'd you stow away on that ship? School bearing boy boy. Eyes boy many boy. cauterizing loops through and about. Wind and windy Mitchell. Did what? he just say Mitchell? Was there a Mitchell at NASA? Tubes. You know what? Tubes. Never mind. I can't do this anymore. Just send this thing to the guys in research. Let them cut it up or whatever they do. You hear that? They're gonna cut you up, you pain in the ass. Spider time. Sp spider time. Dooms. It sounded like simlish for like a second, but if they're, it's like it's actual words though. So well, that's yeah. fucked up. Yeah, have a good time. Uh, okay. So we gotta. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Okay, where was it though? It's. Oh! Excuse me. Oh, fuck. Ooh, get away from me. Where's where are you? Oh. Why are you so fast? We're changing guns. Where is it? Where is it? Whoop! No! How about no? I hate those things. Damn, hiss monsters. Ah, oh, excuse you. Oh, good. It's not dead though. Took his corpse. Woo! 
Excuse you. You guys. So these guys. Whoa. What the hell? We oh my god, I was just gonna get health. Toast. Stop it. Is it working? Oh, it's working. Yeah. Okay, hell yeah. And there's nothing else in here, right? Yeah, no. Woo! I was worried we'd have to stop it, like, on time. Uh. <laughs> so that's good. I didn't see much around the room as we were flying around, but let me do a once over. Just to be sure. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything, so let's. Move on. Uh huh. Dark. Oh, and a battery. Aha! I saw that out of the corner of my eye. Gimme, gimme. Boom, baby. So, is that where we have to go? Oh, but there's a thing. <laughs> okay. Thank you. My my light source that they keep taking away from me. <laughs> this like way of using the launch ability is really interesting. Oh, goodbye. Um, like instead of having like the traditional flashlight setup from like Alan Wake. Hi, Drench. Um, that's very Oh! Oh, he, he, he smushed him. Jelly. Dude, he's so nasty looking. Looks Look at that. like whatever force had a hold on Hartman isn't mixing well with the his corruption. Oh, his walk. Lake did call him the third thing. The fact they call him a thing, too, just adds to the, like, horror. It gives me, like, the thing vibes in, like, you know, old horror, one of the one of the great things about it is that you don't because the makeup effects weren't like the most elaborate, you know, that they could be, they did their best with lighting and shadows to hide a lot of old monsters in movies because um, they were just trying to make up for what they couldn't do practically. But it made the monster scarier because it let your imagination go run with it and they do a good okay. job with that with Hartman. I'm just going to freestyle a bit. <clears throat> My mother always said, never talk to strangers. Always. Never. Never. Always. Never. Never. <laughs> but isn't a stranger just someone you don't know? What if the only thing stopping a stranger from being a friend 
is that word. Stranger. Strange. Err. Err. Strange like the noises you hear at night when there is no light and you cannot fight. Strange like a rubber duck that follows you around and makes you drop your coffee every time that it quacks because the noise scares you. Then you have to clean up the coffee while the duck stares at you and continues to quack, 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 quack. Quack. <laughs> I mean, we do, we do, we can relay it to we did have to do with the damn duck and boy does it have a, a haunted quack. Um, oh, is that something? Oh. The beautiful freestylings of Langston, everybody. Is that his, like, slam poetry? I love the theremin in the background. <laughs> what was that? You know, I didn't initially like Langston when we first met him. He kind of felt a little arrogant. But you know what? He's completely grown on me. I am so on... Oh, yeah, just... Get out of here, I'm the director. <laughs> he's just completely grown on me, Langston. Like, he, he's just... Like, he, on, you can tell that he's just a really lonely person. And that he um, is good at his job, but he's, you know, a, a little offbeat, I guess. And he's just very lonely, you can tell. Like, he obviously, like, would benefit from talking to people and having more community around him but maybe we can build a better work environment through jesse for the fbc but you can tell he's he's a good guy like he he cares a lot about his job he's very empathetic like uh, he's very big grown a chain on me. letter <laughs> i remember these mom used to say they were evil hmm better do what it says you know just in case there must be a photocopier around here oh there is don't you remember jesse from your days your days as an office assistant sorry what is it chain letter move this letter along before he gets you oh my god these things i for me it was email letters um it was like emails that you would get when i was like way younger and it would be like yeah exactly like this like oh they're gonna come get you if you don't send this to the next 30 people <laughs> oh no this spooky man letter has found you the spooky man curse is coming to you to miss the curse you must mail this letter to people if you don't the curse will get you the more letters you mail the better off you will be sally and houston did not send the letter and the spooky man ate her cat what the fuck what did the cat do to you terence and greenstone did not send the letter and the spooky man gave him acne you gave this guy ac okay but the cat okay kyle did not send the letter and now his wife eats dinner alone <laughs> i feel like these are three different extremes eating your pet eating your wife or getting acne Linda did send more letters, uh, 30 letters in total so far, and look at her now. She owns three cars, has all her fingers, and speaks Italian. You need to mail this letter. You better mail this letter. Don't let the spooky man come. He'll take your cat. Find your stamps. Hurry! Ooh, they all died with me. All chain things died with me. I got those emails and was like, delete with proudly I was a sense of pride to get rid of that shit uh, but don't take my cats please that's a little rude <laughs> or Langston will freestyle on you oh what an endearing person I mean he's weird for sure but so is everything here shaded Hartman 
Examination of Paranatural Entities, Dr. Emil Hartman Shaded. Dr. Hartman is the first type 2 shaded individual to be examined alive by the Bureau and has proven a valuable asset for our understanding of A010, aka the shadow. Like all shaded individuals, the specimen is constantly shielded by or produces a of darkness that makes visual observation difficult. This also protects the specimen from harm. During testing, non-lethal ballistics proved ineffective against it. The specimen uses words and phrases that seem to originate from its previous life as a therapist. Some phrases have been identified as quotes from Dr. Hartman's book, The Creator's Dilemma. This seems to indicate the host's personality remains to some degree. For research purposes, Shaded Hartman was relocated to the Cauldron Lake Lodge replica built for the Bright Falls AWE investigation. Researchers hope a familiar setting may trigger new behavior. This experiment has yielded no results thus far. Refer to file 5-22-1019 for full report. Ooh. Okay. So that's something. Um, things we already know, though. We know that shield... Uh, the darkness shields the individuals that it takes and then we also know oh no is that a ranger desk uh oh it's coming um but we also know that uh, the other um censored thing in there was that um some part of the individual remains intact um because they remember or at least repeat uh phrases from their previous life Director Faden here. Do we get Ranger number seven? Location. Buddy? Where is he? Let's do this! Ooh. Where are you? Oh, hi! Is it Ranger number seven? It is Ranger number seven! Give this man a raise! Oh. Ooh, what's that? I see our friends here. And we got a paper. <gasps> yes! More night springs. The director. Oh. The director steps closer to the horrible entity. He reaches out with a steady hand. Director, you're mine now, creature. I will return you to my facility and control your power. Scientist, sir, we don't know. The entity instead rushes forward and engulfs the director. He screams in pain as the scientist looks on and does nothing. Like the coward that he is. Entity, subtitled, I am not the one being examined. I am not the one locked inside a prison. Gradually, the director emerges from the entity, his once sparkling eyes now empty and dull. The scientist rushes to him. Scientist, sir? Sir, we have to escape! Director, we cannot. They are in control now. I got what I wanted. Dun, dun, dun. These are great. These are fun. Let's find out what it's building to. It kind of seems like it's um, copying like Director Trench in an interaction with like, woo, with Darling maybe. And then this is outside. Okay, no batteries in there. So this thing is blocked. So is it just a brawl? No Hartman. It's a brawl. No time like the present. <laughs> Bam! It would help to hit something. Ranger number seven. Whoa! What the fuck? That was my whole fucking life. I'm a toast. My whole fucking life. Yeah. Oh, again, it's somebody's fucking rifle. Goddamn rangers! Oh, I'm toast. 
ghost. Yeah, it's the guy at the cross. I saw him. Oh boy, I'm toast. Fuck. Can I get to him? Can I get to some? Run. Pick him up. Woo. Yeah, I see you, motherfucker. Take that. That's twice you almost killed me. Okay, what's next? Uh oh. Right, you never said it. Oh, you got a friend. You got colors. You got clothing. Take him. Can I take him? Yeah, baby. Get taken! Woo! Take out your friend, buddy. Yeah, get him. I'll take him, I'll take him. I'll take him, I'll take him. Yeah, baby! Oh, fuck. Oh, you guys are okay. <laughs> it's chaos. It's absolute chaos. Yeah. I can't see shit. Oh, it's a big boy. Oh, it's a big boy. Oh, that didn't work at all. <laughs> oh, I'm getting caught up on everything in between. You can play it that game. Get him, get him, get him! Woo. Yeah, 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 we got him! Woo! <laughs> and the guy just died. <laughs> oh, Ranger number seven. Sorry, I didn't mean to point my gun at you. Sorry, sir. So sorry. Uh, Ranger number seven. We did it. I think. Yes? Yeah, we did it. Okay. Woo! It was looking iffy there for a second, guys. <laughs> Instantly fucking shot. Oh, it's almost a piece of toast. Crumbled and broken. Alright, is there any things? Why do I have a flashlight? Any things around? plant. Is this one of the plants? Hang on. It looks dead. It looks like also the other plants that... Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. It's a shine of light, not a talk. Where is it? There you go. <gasps> it's Doesn't working! That feel better? Oh, hell yeah! Oh, that's cool. Fuck yeah. I didn't even notice that it was in the the thing, but it looked like, you know, when we don't talk to the plants, like they all look like a certain type of plant. So where are the others? I've got a light to give you some love. There's gotta be one in here, no? Probably why there's a light in here. Dead plants, dead plant. Oh, dead plant! Found it! Welcome back to the land of the living, little buddy. Ooh! Hell yeah. Okay. There's gotta be a third one somewhere. My guess is up here. Oh, hey! Boom, baby! Uh, sorry to throw that at you, but yay, we did it! Cool. I'm, I'm glad that I had the wherewithal to recognize that. <laughs> I was like, why is there a flashlight just hanging out up here? But that's cool. I didn't see any papers while we were running around. Um, so I think we can just pop on down. Is that 
out just like darkness to nothing. <laughs> Alright, Ranger number seven. Let's go, sir! Do you follow me? Yeah, come on. We're a team, buddy. Oh, what's this? The right way to go? Okay, then maybe this is... Oh, Ranger number seven's gone! Goodbye, sir. Oh. Ah, okay. Oh! Oh, it's more mold! Ugh. Always put one above, yeah. Oh, I see it. Oh, one more somewhere. Oh, 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 oh. Nope, that was not it. It was green. I got excited. It's probably up. Oh, yep. Boom. No AC, no mold spore circulation. Oh, There's more of it. Might get a bit stuffy in here. Yeah, for real. Ugh. Hell yeah. Wait, did that complete that one? It did! Hell yeah! So we got one more darkness room and then two more light rooms. Yeah, we are completing them as we go. I was kind of hoping that would be the case because... That was mostly the case for the other uh, Ochi missions. Um, in... The other A... In the other uh, AW... In the other... Uh, DLC. Um, so, yeah. Okie dokie. Oh, it's. Yeah. Man, that shit's weird. Going down then. There's no flashlight to bring with us. Oh, going up. No flashlight to bring with us. Ooh. Will indeed. <gasps> what is that? Ooh, there's Hartman. Ooh, you can see him immediately. Oh god. Is that a space shuttle? Is that the uh Apollo thing? Um okay, let's put this back. The third thing. Ugh! I knew you be Oh. oh, I hate it. Thank you. What's in here? <laughs> I love reading. Fra Maro AWE7. So this is where we are. A paranatural entity arrived on Earth by infiltrating the Apollo 14 lunar mission at an unknown point of their voyage to the Fra Maro Highlands of the Moon. Whoa. So they... So something brought... They brought something back? It, like, stowed on the ship? Okay. 32 hours after the return of the Apollo 14 command module to Earth, the Bureau was contacted by Mr... A White House senior official and instructed to send a small team to the Johnson Space Center in Houston. At the base, the team examined the entity and carried out interviews with the NASA staff. They learned that four astronauts had returned to Earth instead of the expected three. Each human crew member was insistent that the mission left with four members, though they couldn't name the fourth when asked. The entity seemingly affected their memory to make its presence feel unremarkable. The entity was transported to the oldest house for further investigation. Note, an altercation between NASA security and the investigation team occurred upon their arrival. Mr. called to clarify on the matter, though tensions remained high. Bureau jurisdiction and clearance should be defined more clearly with other federal agencies. Ooh. So, like, NASA had a problem with the FBC because they didn't really realize who they were or, like, what their jurisdiction was. Interesting. And then this is a little bit more about our space stowaway. So, is that the thing that we heard? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe unconnected. Alright, back to the battle at hand. Oh, so... Uh, 
So what, where's the light gonna be? Oh, but I see... Oh shit, this moves. Okay, so... Okay, but it just moved over me, so do I move it back? Oh, sh oh shit, it's moving! Okay, I got it. <sighs> Okay, where are... Oh, I see the other battery. Okay, I see it, I see it. Anything in here first? Lovely. I love reading in the middle of battles. <laughs> okay, Fra Maro AWE 7. So this is more details about it. The Apollo 14 entity, commonly known as Fra, underwent a series of physical examination upon its admittance to the oldest house. The entity can speak, though its poor grasp of the English language makes any meaningful communication impossible. Interview material can be found at... Its physical form consists solely of a extravehicular mobility unit, EMU spacesuit, used by NASA astronauts the same model worn by the other crew. This could be an authentic EMU taken from one of the NASA astronauts, though this suit does not bear any wearer's name, or one materialized through conversation or possibly corporealization. The suit itself is slightly damaged, which is likely due to the fact that the command module did not have a fourth seat 
for the entity to strap into during re-entry. <laughs> so it just like, like crashed down to Earth and the entity is just like banging around inside of it. The EMU is entirely hollow and pieces can be removed, though this seems to agitate the entity. X-rays and spectrographed imaging have shown shaped outlines existing within the suit. For safety reasons, the entity will be contained in a secure cell until more information can be gathered. Okay. So it doesn't speak well, and it copied the other astronauts' clothing to give itself a similar appearance to them. Curious. Back to the battle at hand. So I think we have to move the light and go pick up the battery that's over here. <sighs> Woo! Ooh, he was up my ass. Ooh, I barely caught it. So where's the other battery? That's the real question. the ventilation the there. first time. One last place for him to hide. Drop through the floor. What the heck? Gerbil took the top head? What? I don't know what that means. Uh, he's definitely being injured by the lights because like he he had more energy before and now he's like limping out of the door. Oh. Hell yeah. Okay. Well that's complete. I think this is where we need to go. Oh, look at us. We're almost there. Oh, yeah, we've returned to active investigations. But what is this? What? Gerbil, what? Speak with a voice on the cell intercom? What? Let's explore the room. Maybe it's uh, in the spaceship or something. Is it the entity they brought back? <laughs> it probably is. Looking for papers. So we got everything in here. That's good. Anything on top? No. <laughs> there is another railing thing up there, too. Okay, let's check out the spaceship. Oh, and there's a. Oh, there's a cell. A little safe room thing. Nothing? Climb on it? Yeah! One small step for Jesse! <laughs> well, they brought it here, and knowing them, it's the real one. <laughs> so yes, hello? Yes, B? Worry who? See the sea. It is that crazy fucking guy from the tape! So this is the entity. It's not a safe su It's not a safe thing. It's, 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 it's the... <laughs> It's his thing. It's his holding cell. Hello? Hello! Hi! Who brought us today? Long roads and no hardly. You are Bygon? Uh... Sure! Sure. Why are you locked up in here? Ah, uh, casual turning. Back in front. And <laughs> Gerbil took the top head. Not being pressed for that. Lady going and loosing back for I? Sorry, I... I think I'm misunderstanding you. What do you want? The head? The head for tails? For reading news, jars, words, and tumble. 
The reading head. Okay, okay, take it easy. I'll, uh, I'll take a look. So maybe it wants something to read. He said a head. Uh, a jar. The reading head. Let's just see what we can find. The, what the fuck? Okay, so it, it's, it speaks English, but like jumbled up. It's like, it knows the words, but not what they mean or what order they go in. So that's something. Oh, oh, oh. That, oh, I can, oh. I was gonna say, it looks like toilet paper. Uh, oh, maybe this? This could be what it wants. Is it a stuffed animal? Let's give it a shot. So I guess you can like pick things to give it? I'm kind of confused, to be honest. No, no, jars, a head. Scotch and peppers, head. Okay, that wasn't right. Let's try something else. Scotch and peppers, jars. Uh, do so we just gotta find things? So is it what? Is it the paper? He said peppers, not papers. But he also was saying gibberish. It sounds like maybe it'll like this, like pig Latin or something. So this is the other thing that was in the room. Is it head. this? A S B E head. Nope. Let's keep trying. Uh huh. Um. Okay. <laughs> Do you want a gerbil? A gerbil for a head? The, the, uh, okay. Maybe this will do the trick. Is this count as a jar? It's booze. <laughs> Probably Doctor Darling's. You ping pong a head. You ping pong. Guess that wasn't it either. A huh. head. He, uh, there wasn't any more things in that room. I don't think. <sighs> nope. Um. Yo. That could be a head. Somebody's cheese plate? What does it say? It's my birthday. Please take some. I would, but we don't know how long it's been there. Maybe the ball? This might do it. It's like closest to a Maybe. round head shape. <laughs> I got a cheese plate if you're hungry. Lady, you are school and dirt for loosing. Keep that up and I won't help you anymore. <laughs> you are school and dirt from you can kind of like hear the context of it like you ping pong like you idiot or something like that um it kind of also sounds like Langston <laughs> like the voice actor for Langston um the cheese plate let's see if this will do it I'm ready to be done with this. <laughs> Jesse's so over it. You want a snack? Fury clocks, lady. The head. 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 No snacks. Head is top of all up and down. At the top. The top head. Wait, does this thing actually mean head? It means his head. Head is in a body's head? Where the hell am I going to find that? In a jar somewhere, probably. And how did it lose it? That's a good question. Um, find a head. So, <laughs> I mean, I was assuming a literal head, but the objects around said no. Find the head, investigation sector, head office. Okay. So where is that? Like, oh, it's like, oh, that's the beginning. 
Also, I didn't check the top railing. Oh, I see a trunk. Or whatever, a storage container. In the same place you were last time. Nice. Okay. So I don't see anything else. So let's go uh, to the investigation sector. Or not the investigation sector. We're in the investigation sector. The sector head office. So it's here behind me. Oh shit. Oh, it's one big boy. Are you the head? Am I gonna take your head? the fuck out again oh maybe <laughs> maybe you've been playing too long <laughs> we did it though hurrah and we're at the place we needed to go so that's good oh see I was thinking we were gonna rip his head off and give it to the guy ah this makes more sense it's a helmet. his helmet for a head is that what the prisoner meant? Let's hope. I guess there's only one way to find out. I swear if they made us do that and it's not the object, that would be funny, but also sadness. I brought you a helmet. The head, River Chicken Station. <laughs> <laughs> Far tastier. Press any button? Press any button? So the helmet is what you're after, huh? Tubes! Tubes! Smell grape! Pure grapes! Hail a lady. You're welcome, I guess. Did Kirkland lock you up in here? Chief Gerbil? Yes. Chief Gerbil! He's long around. But hold out and happiest. Can gather for goldfishes. No wrinkle. Okay. Well, sounds like you're doing fine in there now. Just make sure you don't go anywhere. Jelly! Jelly! At least we help this guy. Tubes, jelly, and head gerbil. Best we Chief leave gerbil. It locked up, though. We have no idea what it is, and we don't need any more problems out here. Uh, can I be director gerbil? <laughs> well, that was hilarious. So I think we've gotten everything in this room, but uh, Chief Gerbil out, director gerbil. Except there's a unknown thing, so maybe it's in the direction we need to go. Because there was like that upper room up here. I think it's the direction we need to head into. Like this way. Yeah. Oh, and we cleared it. Nice. Oh! There's- okay. Is there a flashlight somewhere? Aha! <laughs> Flashlight! Let's kill it! So I think this is the last darkness one. There's 
such large piles of darkness. <laughs> Done. Woo! That should make him happy. You're yeah, welcome. Yeah, baby! Complete. So we just gotta do the plants. And where are the other plants? Is there one here? Abandoned operations and operations corridor. Okay, so kind of back. Okay. Let's go ahead and do them. Oh, we're, we're, where are we? We're here. Did I check these? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After the investigation. My goodness, this barricaded again. Ha ha ha. Okay. So let's, let's go ahead and do the plant thing. Because we're just cruising away at these. Uh, we need to go to operations corridor. There we go. Oh, you know what? I did I did see it was over here or something, right? Yeah, but you're getting light. But just not strong light, huh? Uh we need a flashlight. Ah! Case in point. So the trees are not it. Oh, but there's a baby plant here. Nice. So that's two. So there's one more in here somewhere. Did it just sigh? Did you guys hear that? Ah. <sighs> maybe it's just me. I'm thinking I'm maybe going loony then. Uh huh. Plant. Somewhere. It does say corridor specifically. Oh, shit. <laughs> was the snake, it would have bit me if it was the snake. Yay! Okay, so that's. That's that. So now. This way. Oh, yeah, we need to go. Because this is broken. So we need to go through where we came from. There's probably a light there. So I'll just let it go. And then we will have completed our janitorial duties for Ati. Abandoned offices, yes. Not that. Thank you. So where's uh where's our plants? Okay, well, <laughs> that was a thing. That wasn't as bad as it could have been, though. For some reason, that one we did okay on. 
Um, alright, where's my light? <laughs> sort of chucked it in a panic. Alright, where's our plants? Before we were so rudely interrupted. Plant. Hey, that's a wall. Hey! <gasps> There's a plant! Oh, hell yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. That was complete dumb luck. I've I told you my eyes are much more peeled for wait a minute, we've been in here. I broke that wall. Whatever we found the plant. I told you I've been breaking more walls. Like I now that I know to look for them, like I was on a roll going through. You know, in some world, I probably should have filmed my, like, extra run-through. <laughs> to just be like, on a speed run, how fast can we do it? But, uh... It's all good. So, plants, plants. Ooh, is that a plant? No. Plant. I didn't even notice it before. Because we definitely probably came in here and it definitely sighed. We probably came in here for one of those work lamps before. Didn't even notice. Alright, so we got one in there. One in the wall. There's gotta be just one. Ah ha ha ha. Found ya. Here's some sunshine to brighten your day. Woo! It's artificial, though. Hmm. How does that work? And that's the last one. Hell yeah. Should appoint someone to take care of these guys. I know, we should. Supervisor of Houseplant Wellbeing. Talk to them and light them up. Give them a little pat on the back. Fuck yeah. So we completed them all. So we got this return to sender, so we'll have to do uh, that one. But for now, that'll probably be in the investigations. Investigations. I am not here. <laughs> It'll probably be in the um, uh, exploration episode is what I was going to say. Investigation. I mean, investigation episode. That, that can work fine, too, but that's not quite the meaning. There we are. Let's get back to active investigations. Just to center ourselves for the next part. The last part of the uh, AWE DLC, I think. Woo! So let's go up here. Upstairs, right? We gotta play shoe. Gotta do a round at least. But yeah, so, um. I'm assuming that the next part with the Bright Falls AWE will probably end this DLC. And then we'll be free to explore and do whatever else you want in the game. So, my assumption is we'll finish the AWE DLC in the next episode. And then we'll have our last hurrah to go explore. Timing. Hartman just came through here. God, he was hideous. He tore the security door into the Bright Falls AWE site wide open. He was so ugly. Like, wow, I got a good look at him. And Christ, he does not look like he used to. The hiss must have messed him up or something. He, he, he looks like a, a bar rag that's been twisted by the world's strongest man. Or <laughs> a monster from some 80s horror movie. You know, back when it was all practical effects? Hey, Ugh. that's what I was saying. Nasty. Real Did you say something? Winston. Remember, I can't hear you. Never mind, just go after Hartman. Oh, so disgusting. <laughs> okay, well, that was dramatic. Um, This man is funny. He's a funny one. All right. Um, <laughs> okay, so, yeah, as I was saying... um. We'll do the last hurrah in the episode after we do the Bright Falls. 
and just kind of get every last little thing that we can kind of explore. So like I said, I'll go through the list that I was explaining in the previous episode. But for now, the next episode will be the Bright Falls AWE and should conclude the AWE DLC as far as the story goes. So that'll be exciting. Um, I am thrilled to be back to where we were. And um, <laughs> while I didn't fight the greatest in this one... We did it, and we completed both of the Eagle Limited AWE and the From Morrow AWE and their little side quests, I think, that were in them, which is awesome. And we completed Autis in this one, so that's also very awesome. And, uh, yeah, I think we're, we're sitting pretty. We've, we've got a really cool... Oh, yeah, we did the clock puzzle, too. That was something. I'm, I could never have figured that out. Thank you guys for telling me in advance you probably need to look it up because deciphering a song and a backwards lyric, oh my god. Amazing, but oh my god, no. Um, so yeah, we did a lot, I think. Um, very excited to see what the conclusion is to this AWE DLC and to see kind of what more it adds to the story. And my mind's already blown with them adding in the, um, you know, with Hartman and everything that we've already learned, but there are little drops to Alan Wake 2 at the time that we didn't know about, you guys didn't know about when we, when you guys had originally played this, I'm, I'm playing it now knowing Alan Wake 2, so it's even more interesting this way, um, but, uh, little drops that they did, you know, with Mr. Door and then the Valhalla nursing home, um, it's, uh, it's just so well connected and the continuity is absolutely incredible. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this episode. Um, they will come out more regularly now. I'm so sorry for the mini break that was uh, these last uh, two days. But we're caught up and we're ready to go and uh, should be pretty awesome. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in Bright Falls next time. Bye!